Welcome to Doc's Office Hours. It's the 14th of October. Um, it's actually the 14th of October, also in India Standard Time. Thanks to Diraj joining us. It's 11.30 p.m. his time. So it's very nearly the 15th of October his time. Um, topics proposed for uh, today, adopt a plugin tutorial that Diraj and I are working on and a possible additional Hacktoberfest progress report blog post. Anything else you want to put on the list, Diraj? Um, no, nothing, nothing from my side. This looks good. Okay, super. So, so let's take on this one first. We've got Mark and Darren did a live stream yesterday of the first three of three of the segments of the tutorial. Uh, Mark and Darren will do another live stream uh, next week for more segments. And we can embed those videos in the tutorial pages. Uh, Darren doesn't mind, he encourages it actually. And so we'll, we'll, we'll do that and it will make it, I hope a little easier for people who want to contribute first time if they can see somebody doing it live. So now Diraj, one of the things that I wanted to, to coordinate between you and me is I had started started the the pull request or started the commits on a, a giddy repository for collaboration and it didn't work out the experiment just didn't work yes although i'm not sure why because um, when i uh, open a pull request on, on giddy uh, when I click on new pull request button, it just doesn't work. So hmm. yeah, so I think let's let's try let's try the same technique today through GitHub. And we'll just use my repository and see if I can make your collaborator on my repository. Um, and because what we'd like to do is we want to be able to have you commit to the same branch that I'm committing to. And so I think I need to grant you some sort of permissions onto my copy of the Jenkins.io repository. So here's what I was gonna do is I wanted to bring up this and try something like, okay, here's, here's my copy of Jenkins.io and here is my development machine. And adopt a plugin tutorial and blog posts. If we look at it, it's not pushed to my remote server yet. So, or not check, not push to GitHub. So, git push origin set upstream. So, we're going to change this to use to put it there. Okay, so here is the blog and i'm not going to make it a pull request yet because it's not it's not anywhere near ready all i wanted to do was see get the branch okay that wasn't as helpful as i wanted uh, oh no 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 no! it opened on the wrong place i need my fork sorry diraj not driving really well there we go now here, if we look at branches, we should see adopt a plugin tutorial and blog post. So what I want to see is, can you push checking if I can? Oh, that's cool. So were, you were able to push to to the branch. Oh, oh, that's cool. I missed that, Diraj. You were able to push to the branch on Giddy. Oh, was I? <laughs> I just I, at least I think so. I see the well. I, I well. Let's try. Let's let's do some more experiments because it certainly will be more familiar to you and to me if we do it on GitHub. And and so let's try it here first. 
So here's the, here's the branch. Now I think I want to change the settings and somehow make you a collaborator. Uh, how do I grant write permission to a GitHub repository? Inviting collaborators to a personal repository. Okay, navigate to the main page, click settings and manage access. Okay, settings, manage access. Manage access. Oops, get out the security key. Just a minute. Insert the security key. Click the use security key button and then external security key. Make sure it's me. Okay, it is good. Okay. All right. So I'm going to add you as a collaborator. Okay. Now with that, could oh, go ahead. What's that? Now, this should have sent you an email invitation, and it says the email, the invitation is pending and in pending. It's so, your, your voice is breaking. I think it's a fault from my side. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. So, so here, let's, sorry let's, no, no, no problem. Let's, uh, let's just use written. That's easier. So, uh, Granted collaborator access to Mark's Jenkins.io fork. Okay. Viraj needs to accept the invitation to collaborate. Okay. Can you confirm? that email arrived with the invitation. Okay, one second. Yes, I just received an email. Okay. So accept Accepted. the invitation. Accepted. Okay, so I should see it now. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, now let's check this. So now what we need you to do is add a remote. Okay, so then add a remote to your local clone of Jenkins.io. And the way you do that is Git remote add um, marquee wait. That is not very helpful, breaking it on a line like that. There we go. Okay. And if we make this career new. There we go. Uh, fetch pull the changes. And you'll need to check out the Mark's working branch. And this is where we need that text. What was it? It's here. No, there it is. And then what I wanted you to do is push a change there.
and it can be any change. Uh, let's see if I look, edit the file. Oh yeah, here we go. Get checkout. And if that works, then we've found a way that you and I can collaborate on the same branch. Uh, yes. Um, uh, so it says when I do git pull dash dash all, it says do not read from remote repository. Please make sure you have the right access right and the repository exists. Oh, now that's interesting. You can't read from. So could you do a git remote minus V and double check that you've got the full repository URL? Yes, I have. I have the marquee weight that you just suggested me to add this remote. And I do have one that I added previously. HTTPS home dot dot net kitty one. And then I have uh, I have a lot. I don't know why. Okay, and so the when you when you there. does it tell you which remote it cannot pull? So I have these six ones. I've added in the chat. Okay, let me look at the chat. Okay, so the message is, and does it, it does it tell you which of those you it, so you could. Does it tell you which of those um, it can't pull? Uh, from HTTPS home.markweight.net giddy mweight chickens So from. Oh, oh, okay. That I okay. So upstream. So git remote rm upstream. And then we'll do a git remote add upstream. This is an easy one. Up add upstream and upstream needs to be. This one. Okay, that one worries me. So the permission denied public key. So when you push to GitHub, you're using HTTPS? Yes. Oh, okay. Well then then we need to give you an HTTPS URL. So sorry about that. I'm so I'm accustomed to using private keys. So let's make it better by changing it to that fork and use HTTPS. Sorry, I didn't realize you were using HTTPS. That's great. So instead, your git remote, git remote rm marquee wait. And then the thing we're going to add is this. Okay, done. Then I'll do git pull. Right. Yes, so all changes are done. It says already up to date after fetching. Okay, and it did not say anything about pulling down a new branch by any chance? I hope it did. Well, if you execute this command, we'll know if that happened or not this git checkout, oh. that one, if you'll run that, that will tell us uh, if you if you locally have a copy of the branch where I've started the work. Okay. Up 
branch name adopt a plugin tutorial and blog post already exists. Oh, okay, good. So then you don't have to do that. That's easy. Okay. So then the next stop is git push. Um, marquee wait minus minus set dash upstream. And then we need the branch name. Like that. Okay. It would help a bunch if I made this small enough to fit on one line. Okay, one minute. And it may tell you nothing to push. Yes. Okay. So just if it says nothing to push, that's good because then we need to do the next change. Actually, I'm trying to authenticate. Okay. Yeah, HTTP authentication is that's that's one of the reasons I so like SSH is that then I don't have to don't have to wrestle with the HTTP authentication dance. That is true. Uh, why is it? Why is it not? So the credential. Oh, OK, one minute. Sorry. that um, so uh, i think let's let's move forward you can tell me the next step i don't want to waste your time oh no 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 let's i think i think it will be the the crucial next step we need to be sure that you can you can push so if you'd like we could instead configure you so that you have a private key uh, installed on your github account mm -hmm. if that would help because then you then you could use ssh that would be very helpful so if, you if you're if you're willing to share your screen, share I'll stop screen sharing or... mine. And just in case there are things that are sensitive, I'm gonna okay. So let's let's work on creating the skeleton that we'll use. I'm gonna share my screen. Let's see. Oh, I don't know which screen you're seeing. Are you, are you seeing big empty black screen? Yes, your desktop. Oh, yeah, I've got three of them. So the one you're seeing, does it now have oh, the chat one, window yes. in it? Um, oh, no, let's see. What's a different one? Let's, does it now have my file no, browser I'm in seeing... it? Yes, file explorer. Okay, right. so it's got the file explorer in it. Okay, good. Then I know which screen I'm sharing. Very good. Okay, so now it has a terminal window in it, right? Okay, so okay, so what I need is a site that we can use to see the changes that we're making. All right, and now we need to go find. So let me describe what I was thinking. And you can guide me if you think that makes sense. What I was thinking we would do is today there is this documentation developer guide and here is a link to tutorial. I thought we could either make this, make this page have two links, tutorial one and two or something like that. Or we could make this page have pointers to the, this is just a create a plugin tutorial. The next tutorial we're going to create is adopt a plugin. So you have a preference? Uh, I don't think I have a preference. I, I can go on.
Okay, so let's try one of them and we'll throw it away if it doesn't work for us. So here is that same thing in my development setup. Oops, developer guide. And so we want to change this. I'm going to change this page. So let's ask your question again. Sorry, Diraj, I didn't, didn't hear your question. Uh, so I was asking, were you able to hear me? Uh, oh, yes. I, speaking. I can hear you. Let me, I'm going to turn up the volume a little so I hear you a little better. Okay, there we go. Okay. How to guys. Yes. Okay, which one is it? Here we go. Doc developer. That looks like it. Okay, so, all right. So, so we've got tutorial, new plugin, uh, or create a plugin tutorial. How about we call it like this tutorial to create, to create a plugin, tutorial to adopt a plugin. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, well, that didn't look so great. Okay, let's fix that mistake. Okay, uh, no, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> it's not good at all. Okay, how about something different? What do you think of this? Hello. Hello. Oh my. Not able to oh, you're not able to hear me? Oh, I'm sorry, Diraj. That's okay. I will I will just proceed with this. Mark, and... I'm not able to hear you. Yeah, understood. I, I'm I'm really sorry. Can I rejoin? Sure. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear now? Yes, I, I'm very, very sorry for this governance. No, that's that's great. You've got to be able to hear. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, what do you think of this idea as a, a possible layout? A tutorial to create a plugin. Tutorial to adopt a plugin. So this is uh, so first one is the old uh, tutorial, right? And second one is the one that we'll be working on. That was what I was thinking. Yes, mm -hmm. and it, it's not been written yet, but just yes, that was the idea. And maybe we want better phrasing. Oh, and look, it should be title case. Obviously, I missed that. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe it should start with the word 
Like that? Yes. So that they see the... So what if, it, does it look any better like that? Create a, okay, now the other thing we have to check is how does it look at lower resolution? Okay, it's not, not terrible at lower resolution. Mm -hmm. I think this one looks better. Okay. Like it draws more attention to what the tutorial is about. Right, right. And it's still clear that it is a tutorial. Mm. Okay, good. So okay. let's let's do that and let's test drive this and see that you can see my change. So, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to... Okay, so I added the entry point, get push. Aha, and it tells me that I attempted to push when um, I had not pulled your changes. That's good. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do it like this. Now, why does it complain that that's not allowed? Get rebase minus minus. Oh, no edit is not an option. Okay. Fine. There. Okay, good. So that's what I wanted. So now I'm going to push it. Hey, Diraj, could you pull that so that you can see it now that you've got, um, you have my change? So I'm not hearing you, Diraj. Uh, are you able to hear me? I am now, yes. Okay. Okay. So I've just run git pull all and it's running. a long time I don't know why mm. it's still running <laughs> and if you want to interrupt it you can interrupt it and just say git space pull you don't need the minus minus all any longer git space pull that's it yes okay it, it probably will still yes. be slow. So it, it it's a uh, one file changed, eight insertion, one deletion. Very good. Okay. Great. So you, we now know we can collaborate. <laughs> so now we need to, mm -hmm. now we need to create that. So get ls files star tutorial star. We need to figure out where it is. Okay. So there is a, a directory named tutorial. So we're gonna make a directory named tutorial-adopt. Okay, and now because I'm lazy, We need this index. So pl adopt plug adopt a plugin tutorial. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and oh. now we don't need these references because those are references to yes. okay. something else and it's not a work in progress because we're gonna finish it. Okay, so um, insert words, let's see. Jenkins plugins. Sometimes need new maintainers. The plugin maintainer may have changed jobs or lost interest or no longer has time to maintain the plugin. The Adopt a plugin program process allows other maintainers to main, let's see, become maintainers. No, how do we say that? other allows other maintainers, allows other individuals become plugin maintainers of the plugin. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Jenkins plugin adoption. It explains how to, explains common steps common steps that help a plugin and help prepare a developer to adopt the plugin. Fair enough? So now we need the steps. See, contributing to open source. There we go. This. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Now I'm back. Oh, good. Sorry for that again. No problem. That's great. Okay. So, so you add... just added the description for the tutorial, right? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do is add a placeholder for those kinds of things. So then we know what file to put them in. So update the parent update the parent pom to allow development with java 11 Okay, so those are already two very good beginnings. Okay, so now I need to find the place where those things belong. I think they belong right here. All right, so let 
now we've got to insert the links to various steps. Interesting. Oh, hang on. I need to answer this call, Diraj. It's my spouse. Sure. I'm back. Sorry for the interruption, Diraj. So we are about out of time here, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do some initial and, and push this. So add a Jenkins file. And then the next step was what it was. Update the parent palm. And this will get really mind numbing. I'm not sure we may want to find a better way to do this. There we go. So let me put something in here with that text. How about in the, let's see, this is add a Jenkins file. So Okay. Okay, so if we got that right, this should be somewhat better now. Adopt a plugin, no, not quite. Let's do it again, build. So what this will do is this, because I can't add new files automatically into the runtime like that, I have to restart the build process. There it is, good, okay. So add a Jenkins file. And there is the instruction, create a file named Jenkins file, a single line command. Good, okay, so this looks good enough that I think we ought to register it. So Okay, so Oh, 
Oh, now that's odd. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, so Diraj, I propose we call this the end. I'm gonna push my two changes. Could you confirm that you can pull them to your side? Okay, so did you push it? Yes. I did, okay. yeah. So it says 45, lines added 17 lines added so i can see two files changed good that's it yes. so now we've got the beginnings of a place to put this content mm -hmm. and you and i could work on it somewhat independently actually excellent mm -hmm. thanks diraj sleep well so, oh, so go ahead. just one confirmation sorry for that it's just uh, you have added two points uh, from the uh, google doc to the uh, github right the add Jenkins and update the parent form. Right. Okay. So we'll be working together and adding the other parts as well. That's the idea. Exactly. Is we want to add at least the things up through enable release drafter. And we may want to do migrate documentation and improve pipeline. The, the, those last two are much bigger. They're, I'm not sure that they're tutorial sized. Okay. So how will we know which one will be working on? If you just want to put your name next to one, if you start working on it, just put a comment here in the document or even better, if you were to put a comment down here, so put a comment on this title, for instance, say, hey, okay. I'm working on this one. That, that would be better, yes. Now, so have I allowed you to comment start. on it? Oh, it's I even yes. more. I've allowed I you can. to edit. Yeah, so you can definitely you can edit. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So I'll do this, sure. Yeah, so if you, if by when you do it that way, now when I update mm -hmm. the table of contents, it will put your text into the table of contents. If instead you click on the the blue box over here to add a comment. Then it doesn't change the table of contents. Yes, that's better, sure. There that's we great. go. I'll do this. All right, thanks Diraj, thanks for being willing to help. Yes, thank you, Mark. Have a, Have great, a great night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.